with uh, Ron Caps, NHRA champion. Very, uh, very big fan of yours. I'm uh, so excited for you to be here in Kailua Kona. Um, it's a beautiful day in Hawaii, and uh, thank you and welcome, aloha. Uh, tell me, how is uh, how is Hawaii been treating you? Hawaii is always good. This is our uh, God. I want to say the third year in a row, maybe the fourth, that uh, I've come over for Napa, and it's always right after the season ends. And uh, and every year it's been a little bit different where wherever I start out, but it's uh, it's been really cool because I bring my family, or this year I brought just my wife, and we do like four days of appearances at different Napa stores, bounce around different islands, and then uh, end up in Maui and. Uh, the last drag race at the Maui Raceway, and it's a huge turnout, and that's kind of the, the last appearance I have of the year, and uh, and then I have Sunday through Wednesday to spend with my wife, so it uh, you couldn't ask for a better end of the season. bit of what you do what what is an HRA and what do you, is it that you do well uh, I'm lucky enough to have a job driving a race car and you know I grew up in the sport of drag racing as a kid watching uh, my heroes and uh, I get to drive a, a really an 8,000 they say 10,000 now but I, I think they're still about 8,000 horsepower funny car it's a long skinny bodied car that actually is right here in the wall that you can see it's actually what it looks like and and it's about uh, eight to 10,000 horsepower. It goes zero to 100 miles per hour in less than one second and zero to 320 miles per hour in about four seconds. And uh, you got to imagine it's, uh, it's the quickest thing on the planet. And uh, other than a fighter pilot, there's nothing that has more G-forces that we go through. So uh, these are the cars that have the big two parachutes that pop out at the end. And uh, they're an amazing car. It's, uh, it's something else to drive. Ron Caps, number three of the season. You saw the tires haze on Matt Hagen's car. Cap runs a 418 with a 2, 297 miles an hour. His 27th career win. You ran four seconds, a little bit, just over four seconds. Speed of 319 miles an hour, and that's in a quarter mile. Um, that has got to be, you were almost beat your record. Um, I think your record was 320 miles an hour point something yeah. um, in, in like just under four seconds. That's amazing if you can go that fast in four seconds. This is crazy. Um, I know that racing for you has been a sport that you have been passionate about and you grew up with. And I read, um, I read some your bio and that your mother was pregnant with you when she was racing. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yeah, my mom, she, she was pretty into it. My dad raced, of course, but they, they both were really into cars and uh they probably met and when they met it had something to do with race cars and then i think i was i was probably born in bakersfield at famosa raceway during one of the march meets of the uh, the famous fuel and gas championships back uh, i was born in 1965 so it uh it's been in my blood ever since either i went with my dad to the racetrack when he raced as a hobby he never got to do it for a living so he's kind of living through me right now um and really every year of my life it's been spent at that drag strip growing up so i've been a huge nhra fan so now for me personally to to be able to uh to be in a sport and have a little kid out at the ropes waiting for my autograph the way that i waited for don the perdomes mm -hmm. or the, the mongoose or don schumacher or all these these famous race car drivers it's a, it's sort of a full circle thing awesome job man what a great job it pushed me to the left pretty hard again but not sure to hold out if that was just win but gosh darn it man <laughs> now all the parts i love you guys Great job, Ace. Great job, Ronnie. Dave Reese. Now the Ace McCullough. After the start, two wins, all the momentum. Swept under a rug. Now you're back. What's the feeling right now? Well, you know, we did start out good, just like you said. You know, we ran into some troubles, but uh, we managed to work our way through it. And 
And, uh, you know, for Napa, I mean, this is what it is. There's one more guy. It's Dana's birthday, ESPN Dana over there. And this one's for Dana. Happy birthday. And you got it coming, dude. <laughs> Look out, D. Oh, there he is, Dana Sherman. That's going to be, that's going to make him really hard for the rest of us to live with. Oh, boy, but it is Thanks, a happy Dad. birthday for him. How about it? So, yeah, little caps. Little caps. Uh, <laughs> maybe going to be in the funny car. Well, my daughter tried the junior dragster when she was eight. Um, she's 16 now, and she's into cheerleading, which is fine by me. My son, Caden, is 11, and he's, uh, he's hinted that he wanted to try it, but he, uh, he still hasn't. I think the video games have probably gotten the best of him. So hopefully he'll try a junior dragster or something. He's, uh, I think we got to keep that, that thing going where we got a Caps boy, you know, uh, passing the torch down. And hopefully someday I'll be a team owner and I can have my son in the seat. Oh, that would be very exciting to see the Caps legacy uh, live on. Um, and then you could live vicariously through him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep in touch with all your fans. Mostly thanks to you guys, a lot of Twittering here lately. I've kind of gotten on that bandwagon and, uh, and the Facebook in, and it's amazing. It's, you, you just, you know, it, it amazes me still that people are that interested in what I'm doing away from the track, and, and it's cool, I think. And once you start knowing that, you know what they, they want to know what you're doing, they're intrigued by it, then you start throwing a little more out there and a little more out there, and it's sort of like a, you know, a, a reality show through space. You know, they can follow you, and uh, and it's neat. Sometimes I put things on, and I go, nobody really cares about this, and you'll get a bunch of responses. Right, caps, and whenever I'm on the big island, I stop by to see my friends at Napa Auto Parts. They've got the island's largest selection of parts and accessories. Hey, Don. Need expert advice? This is the place. And if you own a repair shop, they've got the fastest delivery drivers on the island. Hey, Ron, can you take this to the auto care center? You didn't think I dressed like this on vacation, did you? With four locations on the Big Island, Napa Auto Parts is helping to keep Hawaii on the move. Ron Caps in the NHL.